Hi everyone and welcome to today's maths lesson. Today we're going to be looking at mixed number fractions. Okay, just want to say a huge well done to everyone who joined in with the arena battle yesterday. It was great to hear about you guys uh, really challenging yourself and competing with your friends. So we really hope you enjoyed it. Please remember that there are sessions to complete every day on TT Rockstars and the arena battle will be available every Tuesday between 9 and 3 p.m. The challenge has been set for five minutes, so you may wish to do more after that. Um, so have a look out for that next week. Please send us some feedback on how it went. Um, maybe if you want more of them, um, we're always open to ideas. So to start off today, I've got a little starter task for you. So I'd like you to have a think about this magic number, which is 24. Have a think about all the ways that you can make this number. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. So you could have, for example, 12 times 2. It's an even number. 100 take away 76 makes 24. And I've thought about some of the factors of 24. So I wonder if you could pause the video and find your own little ways of making 24 or using the number 24. Off you go. Well done. Right, your second part of the starter task is to have a go at these two questions. Now we've done this a long time ago, so just have a go, have a sensible guess, um, and then we'll look at how we actually do it together. So pause the video now. Okay, so within the two holes, there would have been four quarters in each one. So we need two lots of those, which have been eight quarters. So that gives us the two holes. We then also need to add on the one quarter, and it would have given us nine quarters. Second one, it's all been laid out. Again, we needed to do three lots of the five out of five, which would have given us 15 fifths. Add the 15 fifths to the three fifths that are already there, and you've got 18 fifths. Because inside that one hole, or the three holes, there'd have been that many fifths. Number two, let's have a look at these. These are going the other way around. So there are three lots, three holes within 16 fifths, and there's one fifth left over. So you count up in fives, five, 10, 15, you'd have got three lots of five in 16 and one left over. The so next one, if we count up in sevens, then we'd have had two sevens, which would get to 14, and then four sevenths left over. Again, we're gonna look at this more today and tomorrow, so don't worry if you weren't sure. Okay, so, What's the big picture? Well, we see fractions in all sorts of different places, but they're never always the same. They don't have the same denominator. Uh, some have an, an whole number with them and some are just in fractions. So we need to know how to add these together and sometimes subtract them um, by changing their denominator or changing them from improper to proper and vice versa. So some key vocabulary today is add, subtract, fraction, divide, Numerator and denominator, we need to keep remembering which ones they are. Numerator is the top digit and denominator is the bottom, it's the, the, how many it's been split up into. Improper means that the number, the fraction has a higher number on the, on the top, has a higher numerator than denominator. And then we convert that. And sometimes you have a whole number as part of your improper fraction. That'll make it a mixed number. Okay, so this is my turn. I'm gonna show you how we add two mixed number fractions. So we have two and one fifth, and we have three and three fifths. So I'm gonna convert both mixed numbers to improper fractions first. So I'm gonna change both of them into a top heavy fraction. So the number on the top will be bigger than the number on the bottom, and it'll just be a fraction. So my first one is set out here. I've got my two holes, or two yellow bars, and I've got my one fifth. So it's written like that. This then can be written as 11 fifths. So I can actually just count out my bars and I have 11 pieces, 11 fifths. Or it's two lots of five. So two lots of five out of five. And then add on one more, 11 fifths. So that's my first part of the number sentence. My second one's over here. And I've got three holes, so three whole bars there, but they're also split into fifths. So I could count those up 
and also add on my three fifths. So I've got three lots of five out of five and a three out of five. So in total, I'd have 18 fifths or 18 out of five. And now I'm going to add these two together. So 11 fifths and 18 fifths all together adds up to 29 fifths. Or you can convert it into five whole and four fifths. Okay, this time I'm going to add my whole numbers and the fractions separately. So this is a different way to do it. So I'm going to add the two whole and the three whole together. So that will give me five. And then I'm going to add my one fifth and my three, three fifths, like so. This gives me four fifths. Now I add my two answers together. I end up with five whole and four fifths. Okay, so this is a bit of our turn. There's two different ways to do this. So the top person said, I'm gonna convert them both into improper fractions first. And the bottom says, I'm going to add my whole numbers separately and my fractions separately. So those are the two ways that we did it. I want you to pause the video and have a think about which way you prefer to do it, because it's up to you which method you choose. Both of them got the same right answer. Okay, so we're gonna move on to another one now. This one, again, it's got two mixed number fractions and we're gonna work our way through how we can actually do this. So pause the video, have a little think about how you would do it, discuss with people around you at home or in school, and then I will show you a way that we could do it. Okay, so we could have done it this way. So I've drawn out two bar models to kind of give you a bit of visualization, and I'm gonna add the whole numbers first. So I'm gonna add the three and the four. And that leaves me with my two fractions on the right hand side. So three and four gives me seven. So I've done part of my answer already. Now I've got to add the one quarter and the five twelfths. So I'm gonna to have to convert my quarter into twelfths, aren't I? You can see above how much that one quarter, the yellow little piece over here is worth. So to add those together, I need to convert that fourths into twelfths. To do that, I multiply it by three. We've done this already this week. And that will give me three twelfths. And you can see that in the bar model above. Now I can easily add those two fractions together. So that'd be eight twelfths. Now I can add that with my seven and I'll have my answer. So that might be a way that you'd like to do it. Right, for this one, uh, I'm gonna show you two different ways that two different people have had a go at it. And I'd like you to try and work out which one is correct. So let's have a little look. So this person has added the whole numbers, converted their fraction, added their two fractions together and added them back together. This person has converted them into improper fractions. So he's converted his two mixed numbers into improper and then he has added them together and he's come up with his own answer. And they've got two different answers. So have a little pause and have a little think. Which one do you think is correct? Right, let's find out. So we have two holes and one quarter and one hole and seven eighths. So if we added up our two whole numbers, we'd have three. And we'd also then have one quarter and seven eighths to add up. So if we convert that one quarter into two eighths up here, we then add them together, we'd have nine eighths. which is the same as one whole and one eighth. I'm just gonna go back to show you that again. So it was nine eighths with seven and two. When we add them on, that one comes and makes it a whole and we've still got one more over. So that gives us one whole and one eighth. So in total, our answer is four whole and one eighth.
Okay, so again, your Chili Challenges will be on the next few slides. You may choose to start on Chili 1 or work your way through or simply choose a, a Chili to complete. If you're finding a Chili too hard, go back to the previous Chili maybe or go back to the lesson to recap and check. If you're still finding yourself stuck, um, please email in and let us know. There'll also be a chance at the end of the lesson to self-assess to check how you did. So we have Chili 1. Chili two, chili three, and as always, email in your work and how you get on to year six at franchprimary.works.ich.uk. And like I said, there's a chance to self-assess. Um, but if you email in your work, uh, we'll be giving out some dojos for excellent work this week on Friday. We're going to be looking at who's been working hard all week. Um, so to self-assess, have a look at the answers on the next few slides so you can check how you got on. So Chili 1's answers. Chili 2's answers. And Chili 3's answers. Well done guys. Uh, I can't wait to find out how you got on and to see some of your work from today. It's been really lovely seeing all your work so far, so keep it going. You are all doing absolutely amazingly.